love to take your money, sir, but wouldn't you like to buy something? Of course. What could anyone possibly do with a whole jar of trinkets? It could be a paperweight. You could make a unique lamp out of it. It could be turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. There must be a million and one uses. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. Sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board? Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I can gather information about the deck party with this. Excuse me, are you the owner of this boat? I'm James T. Drydock, captain of the SS Winterprize. Pleased to meet you. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Is this rickety old boat of yours seaworthy? 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 Of course she's seaworthy. The question is not whether she's seaworthy, matey, but rather whether you're worthy of the sea. I see. What can you tell me about the doorman over there? He's a real stickler for an invitation, isn't he? Ah, yes. He's amongst Russian Blue's favorite employees, I suspect. If I could only get past him and into that deck party. So, Captain. Do you think you could take me out for a little boat ride? I'd love to, but there's just one problem. I can't go anywhere without my lucky charm. Your lucky charm? Aye, matey. <coughs> because that there is the sea, the final frontier. And my voyages on the SS Winterprise. On a 25-year mission to seek out new sea life and new civilizations, I boldly went where no raccoon has gone before. But without my lucky charm, it would be way too risky. I can't chance it. I can gather information about Captain Drydock and his lucky charm with this. What do you know about Captain Drydock and his missing lucky charm? Oh, please. Can't you see I have official business to attend to? This is the sort of riffraff behavior I associate with that wretched cantina in town. The cantina, eh? I'll keep that in mind. It says deck party, invitation only. Sounds like a swank affair to me. I don't know anything about that, but do you want to see my tattoo? Ahoy, matey! I don't know anything about that, but do you want to see my tattoo? Do you know 
know anything about the lucky charm poor Captain Drydock lost. I know nothing of any importance pertaining to this supposed lucky charm of which you speak, sir. I know that Drydock spends a lot of time in the cantina, however. Great, thanks. Here's where my notes go. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me, so maybe I can do something to distract him. A ship's wheel like this is a very unique belly button antique. Belly button? Oh, I mean navel. I'm so impressed that you got an invitation to this fancy deck party. Will you be wearing your tuxedo? No, I have chosen one of my finest all-cotton t-shirts to wear. One that will show off my impressive pectoral muscles. I'm sure. So, what's the secret to your business's success? Three things. Location. 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 That's one thing. I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah! 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 Oh, forget it. I can't sell you that cat. It's still alive. Meow. Did you hear that? Meow. There it was again. That door is still locked. Here's where I keep my... Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this X-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. His ticker looks like it needs winding. I found the note! I'll be able to disarm that milky weapon of destruction with that diode. I just need to find it, then figure out where to place it. I've got to look for that diode. William the Kid must be stopped. Look at this pen. He must have been trying to write a letter from his heart. If only I could read the note he swallowed. If I could find that diode, then I'd be making some progress. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Those are the suction cufflinks. No! 
Not you again! How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board! Sheesh! The nerve of some people. You'd think they would. Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. <laughs>